Hi, my kindergarten friends. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're excited for a great story today. Last week, you had the chance to listen to two nonfiction books about baby animals. You also had the chance to talk about what you learned and what you wondered about those baby animals. Wondering is something good readers do, and it helps them enjoy and understand the story that they're reading. Today, I'm going to read you guys another nonfiction story. Remember, nonfiction is written to teach you information. You learn facts and information. The title of this nonfiction story is A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. It's written by Joan Hewitt, and the photographs are by Richard Hewitt. This is Sydney. Everybody say hi, Sydney. Sydney, the harbor seal in this book, was born on land by the sea. This was a place where harbor seal mothers would come and have their babies, have their pups. On the back of this nonfiction book, there is a summary. A lot of nonfiction books have a summary. I'm going to read it to you now, and then I want you to think about what you're wondering, what you want to know after you hear the summary. Sydney is a harbor seal pup. One day, her mother goes fishing. She never returns. Will Sydney be rescued? How will she grow up? I want you to think for a moment. What are you wondering right now? What do you want to know? I want you to turn and just talk to your mom or dad. Tell them what you're wondering. What would you like to know? Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, if you need a little more time, you can pause the video. So some nonfiction books, like A Harbor Seal Grows Up, has real photographs. This story has real photographs in it. As I read the story to you, I'm going to take a moment to show you the real photographs nice and close. You want to look closely as you read them. Looking closely at photographs can help you learn more and understand the story that you're reading. Okay, I am excited to read with you. I'm going to read the first half of the story today and the second half of the story tomorrow. A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up by Joan Hewitt. Photographs by Richard Hewitt. This is a chapter heading. I'm going to read them to you also. By the Ocean. The harbor seal pup is two weeks old. Her name is Sydney. Sydney stays close to her mother. She drinks her mother's milk. Waves crash on the rocky beach. Harbor seal families live in the warm sun. Sydney and her mother lie in the sun too. Sydney's mother gets hungry. She dives into the water to catch fish. The water is too cold for Sydney, so Sydney stays on the shore. The seal pup waits for her mother. She waits for three days. She is very hungry. People notice the seal pup. She is all alone. Will her mother ever come back? The next day, the pup is still alone. People call for help. Sydney is rescued. Kindergarten friends, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to ask you to think about what did you learn about Sydney and her first weeks of life from the story and from the photographs? What did you learn about Sydney and her first weeks of life? Everybody think for a moment. I learned that Sydney and then 
Okay, I'm going to ask you to turn and talk to your mom or dad. I'm going to pause for a moment. If you need a little more time, please pause the video. Five, four, three, two, one. Sydney is rescued. The next chapter heading is called Nursed Back to Health. Nursed Back to Health means things that are done to make you feel better. Nursed Back to Health. Sydney is brought to a, a sea mammal center. A sea mammal center is a place that takes care of animals until they're all better and they can go back into the wild. A scientist named Peter is in charge. Peter takes care of young seals. He lifts the thin pup from her cage. Sydney is weak from hunger. Peter knows what to do. He puts a tube in Sydney's mouth. Then Nicole pumps a drink into Sydney's stomach. The drink is like a mother seal's milk. Sydney is full. She is also very tired. She falls asleep. When Sydney wakes up, her eyes are bright. She looks around. Peter examines the pup. Her heartbeat is normal. So is her temperature. She is healthy. Sydney has a full set of teeth. That means she is at least three weeks old. Sydney is small for her age. Boys and girls, after reading the second part of the story for today, what did you learn from the words and the pictures about how Sydney was nursed back to health? Think about that for a moment. I learned that Sydney... The people... She also, please turn and talk to your mom or dad about what you learned from the words and pictures about how Sydney is nursed back to health. Five, four, three, two, and one. After reading the first half and learning about the harbor seal pup, Sydney, I'm still wondering a few things. There's still some things I want to know. And remember, good readers ask themselves questions as they read. They wonder. It helps them understand and enjoy the story. I'm wondering what happened to Sydney's mom? The author never told me what happened to Sydney's mom, so I would like to find out. I am also wondering where the rescue center is located that they go to with Sydney, that takes care of Sydney. They never tell me where it is, and I wonder where it is. I want you to think, what are you wondering? What do you still want to know? I wonder. Hmm. Go ahead and turn and talk to your mom or dad about what you're still wondering. Five, four, three, two, and one. So boys and girls, tomorrow we are going to come back to a Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. I'm going to read some more of the story to you, and maybe some of your questions will be answered. But for now, when you sign off, what I would like you to do is I would like you to read independently at home. It could be nonfiction, facts and information, that's written to teach you about a topic. It could be fiction, a story written to entertain, a make-believe story. Either way, I want you to stop as you're reading and ask yourself questions. I'd like you to wonder while you're reading and think about what you're learning. 
Boys and girls, you should be reading for about 10 to 15 minutes independently. So go pick out a great book, find a cozy spot, and have so much fun reading. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, kindergarten friends.